you know what I did this week? No. Got the vax. Stop it. You got the fucking vaccine. Which one? Pfizer vax. or? Um, Moderna. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Will you guys see Friday next week? <laughs> Let's hope and pray that he, you know everything's Sorry. good. I had a convulsion. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm good. I'm good. You know what? I had no side effects yet. Fam, this is like two days ago. Yeah, but this thing is like long lasting. Anything you put into your body is not necessarily going to be right away. No, I'm not talking about like the side effects that people are talking about. Like you know, your the magnet. Did the, you dry the magnet? The fucking magnet. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm talking about like people say, yo, their arm. They can't raise it the whole next day. They're hella drowsy. Like you basically get some of the, what the symptoms can be from COVID so that your antibodies can know what they are and then, you know, f sense it when you're around COVID. I mm. get none of that. Like I wanted to take a nap and then I got out of bed like, let me go back and put my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? You're addicted <laughs> so to much working. Energy. <laughs> I guess because like I feel like I worked through the whole day and it's, I don't feel like I'm Superman. But mm. I feel like some other people, a lot of other people have told me they, they, were, they were out the next day. Like, the next day was a wrap. Maybe you just have better tolerance for pain. It's all that CMOS, yo. You're on it too? CMOS king. A lie. I, I, yo, I have a scoop of CMOS almost every day in a shake. Shit. And some black CMOS like every wave. other day, yo. I'm, a... I'm on the wave of CMOS. I had a smoothie this morning. I yeah. usually do it every day. You on our root shit. You know how I go. Shit. There you <laughs> You get it from the same lady I do? No, I make my own. Oh, okay. You know well, no, but you have to buy the CMOS. Actually. Yeah, yeah, I buy the, the, the CMOS pack and oh, I can't remember the name of the place that I get it from. Oh, okay. oh that's Because so I post salt. mine on um, the, my page. It's Stem and Roots and proper brand, pro proper batch that I get. Yo, I'll, I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find out who it is and tag you. I'm, I'm trash. I'll, I'll do a free post for <laughs> you. I'm super trash. Yo. You, you know gotta like, but see, with things like that, you gotta like spread the word and share it because it's like it's for human health, right? Mm -hmm. So those things are almost a no-brainer to want to showcase because it's not like it should be restricted in that sense because it's things that we want to make sure you know people in the community get access to. Yeah, I'm trying to find them here in my in my Instagram, but I probably won't. <laughs> what else you got for us here before I get to some of these subjects that I got for you? <laughs> um, I just wanted to shout out Case Candy, a mm. local in Toronto with edibles and goodies. So I've been promoting some of the stuff on my uh, highlights. Case and um, yeah, really good stuff like gourmet candy apples, um, gourmet like um, fruit slices with mm. like, you know, specialty toppings on it. And this here is um, Grey Goose infused popcorn. Jeez. I did a video on my timeline recently and it's like popcorn in slow motion being poured. And that's what this is, is just okay. a Grey Goose. Um, but there's also a nice um, strawberry cheesecake crunch cone. Jeez. And it's like, you have the cheese, strawberry cheesecake inside, you have stra fresh strawberries as well. And then you have this crunch cone that's coated with um, some drizzle of chocolate and some other stuff. and. Mm -hmm really nice but the candy apple flavors are impeccable like i had like a like sour <laughs> i had like a sour patch um flavored candy apple and i'm like this was pretty dope and she has like a, like a, the business has like a whole lineup of um, goodies so definitely check out case candy they're on my uh instagram tagged and um special highlight for that um so that's case candy salute salute case candy um can I jump into one of my subjects I have here? I want to keep going. <laughs> go, 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 go. Okay, go, 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 go. I want to talk about what we as podcasters go through. I'm talking about interview etiquette. Mm. It's been something I wanted to touch and talk about for a while. When you are asked to do an interview, and I'm looking at the camera to you guys. Hold when on, you hold on. Do you, do you want a beat? I have a rant beat. <laughs> I, I have a rant beat. I, I, salute to, to, to Champagne Poppy. You know, you know it's all love and peace now, but when I got into my rant bag... I can give you a beat. You got a beat? It's it's. I have a labeled rant beat. Let me see if I can ride this beat. <laughs> it's, you could talk your shit. It, 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 it's 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 very it's, it's good for exhaling. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to, but I'm just I saying. don't mind. But also, we but gotta you talk your shit. Okay, okay. This is it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be talking to you guys. And I mean you guys. Talk to them! If you are going to be asked to do an interview, have some motherfucking courtesy. Have some fucking respect. If somebody comes and reaches out to you and says, hey, 
You are worthy of being on a show or getting exposure. It is for dual purposes, meaning it is for myself and it is for you. It means that we need to collaborate together. We need to talk about things that make us great as people, as influencers, as rappers, as singers, as dancers, as anything. That's what we need to do. So when you are being reached out to, you don't understand the work that goes into it, the equipment, the lighting, the actual engineering, the sound, the editing, the everything. You don't understand. Do you even know what I go through to even come prepared? I come with notepad, pen, paper, phone, everything to make sure that I have my details and my facts correct. I bring personality regardless of what I go through and what I have going on. I come here with game face on. Sorry, I'm hitting the mic. Let me bring it back. I come with game face on. And I come to make sure that I bring the level of entertainment. It may be a seven, it could be a 10, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I still bring it again and again. Okay, so. <laughs> um, no, I got you, I got your back. Let, let's go, let's ride, let's ride. <laughs> oh, the engineer is real, right? <laughs> you know I love that shit. Smoke? And you know what? Let me just continue as the beat comes right back. You guys know I'm a rapper, so I'ma just, you know, drop that fire. Here we go. I'm kidding. So let me get back to what I was saying. So me, when I talk about interviewing, I don't just talk about myself. I'm talking about me and the crew and the team and everybody else that's doing this to be a part of the dream. Okay, so what we need to do is make sure that we respect people and that we understand our opportunities because sometimes you don't know what door is gonna open when you come to the actual door. You don't know. So when we put on things like this in regards to entertainment and come to make sure that you, the viewers, get something to watch, get something to comment on, get something to be a part of and to keep consistent. We need that respect that when you get asked, whether it's a DM or a phone call or anything, just courtesy. If it's not 24 hours notice, you're being unrealistic. Just tell me you can't come through. Tell him you can't come through. Let everybody know you can't make it. That's all it is. That's all this is about. Just have some respect in the industry because you know what? Maybe you want to go somewhere and somebody's not going to be coming to knock at your door or call you down or send you a DM or try to make sure that you're available. So it's just common courtesy as an artist and as an entertainer myself. I get asked to do shit too. I get to promote and I also, you know, get people to promote me. It is a respect thing. And again, the energy you put out there is a lot of the energy you're gonna get back. So as simple as it might be to maybe not show up or you know something happen, the idea is to make sure you have some common decency. It speaks to your brand and it speaks to kind of your etiquette on how you think, right? So that's just all I gotta say. Just make sure you have some respect when somebody's trying to do something collaborative with you. How you really feel? <laughs> because it's frustrating you know and like when I watch and see like what goes on behind the scenes like there's a lot of fucking shit as a content creator myself there's a lot that you know gets put into things a production that's what it is it's not like we're just using our cell phones and we're saying we're gonna go fucking live no this is pre-recorded shit you know what I mean like there's there's stuff equipment things have to be accountable for lights everything so we got a whole mic all the way over here too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying yeah, it's it just, from all angles. I'm just saying, like, there's a time when you grow up and you just gotta like realize that you want to be seen as a professional in all areas of your life, not just what seems convenient at the moment, right? I'm going a cappella without the beat. No, no, no listen, <laughs> I, I hear you know because, and you're gonna learn this as as you continue to pod because you're on we're on episode what 25 right now, right? Yeah. So, you know, as as an elder podcaster, old you know, head, old head <laughs> podcaster we're on episode 225. This has happened where, you know, guest has ghosted, uh, ghosted us um, multiple times. I can't say a dozen times yet, but at least four to five times without any kind of regard for, hey, yo, you know, can't make it, nothing like that. And some people haven't responded to us to this day. You know what I'm saying? Years later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, and so you're going to encounter a lot of wild shit. I, I, I like the fact that you got that shit off your chest. You know what I'm saying? Because fuck. Sometimes artists got to hear the shit. 
it's not even just limited to artists it's everybody just, like yeah, people in entertainment period. look who comes on the show it's all types of people right mm -hmm. and again it's different industries and stuff so my thing is it's not the first time or second time it's happened it's like i don't want look at only for myself i look at as a professional whether you're going for a career job whether you're booking a photo shoot whether you're booking to even be in an interview it's mm -hmm. like regardless of if money is being spent or not it's like you got to look at things like it's common courtesy just to let somebody know even a partner I'm going to be late or guess what? I'm not going to be able to make it. Yeah. And well, it's like a lot of people don't see what happens behind the scenes until they actually get here. I noticed this over the years with guests when they, they get here, they're like, yo, holy, you guys have a lot of equipment mm -hmm. because inside of the frame that y'all are watching us on, you might not see like the, the, the light kits that are in the back. You know what I'm saying? And you might not have looked up the price of what these microphones cost and all these different <laughs> yeah. things. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to stunt or anything. I'm just saying like, there's a lot that goes into what we do over here you know what i'm saying and preparation too because you guys think that maybe i just do all the shit on the fly but like everything again pre-recorded yeah i usually have the voice drop a question every now and then and mm -hmm. you know he might you know have a question today i'm not sure i gotta check but <laughs> the thing is like you know everything is pre like preparation mm -hmm. when you have guests and when you're planning anything just like even on tv or on the internet when you have a show or you have something that goes on there's a lot that goes into it. That's facts. Right? And That's I'm a pen facts. and paper type of chick and I like to write shit down. So when I can't write shit down, it doesn't exist at that point. Mm, so that's that where way. I get my motivation to actually, you know, prepare things and have a guide. Instead of cue cards, I like to, you know, have my shit. And it just makes it easier when you have structure. Right? I, I, I appreciate that rant right there. <laughs> and the man at the beat going everything. <laughs> Listen, I provide, I provide the rant, the, the, the floor, you know what I'm saying?